So Arun, today uh, you know we, we wanted to talk a little bit about mm -hmm. uh, generative AI. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been in the news. Uh, we've seen you know some not so positive uh, news articles. We've seen very very well known professionals and industrialists uh, you know making certain um, cautionary comments. Uh, we've seen certain high level exits yeah. from companies so that you know they are more free to talk about their concerns on generative AI. And uh, I personally believe that uh, you know people have their opinions, but we have to figure out a way to demystify. I think as we go on any new journey, right? Generative AI is a new technology journey. You know, exuberance and cautionary needs to be in the right balance, right? I would also think that exuberance should be a little bit higher than the cautionary because that's what humans get going. And the core of this journey that we have in generative AI is going to be a lot more focus on the intention. The intention is going to be the critical ingredient that will allow us to make sure that we do the right thing. And in this conversation, especially in the world where you both live in telcos, that's going to be an important ingredient. When we think about generative AI in general, uh, there is a black box that, mm -hmm. that, that predicts the learning and it's based on uh, a concept known as LLM, which is Large Language Model. And what it does with the Large Language Model is that uh, it's, not, it's not surfing the internet for the answers, it's learning like a brain. So when you first start dabbling with it, you know, it throws out gibberish. But over a period of time, the learning is so powerful that it can start uh, giving Shakespearean monologues, it can recite Julius Caesar on its own, and when you progress it further, it can create songs, like it, it very recently created a song by the superstar Weekend. And even Weekend was not able to figure out whether it was his song or a song that was generated by, by uh, uh, you know, generative AI. So with that powerful technology mm -hmm. at our disposal, how do you see its applicability in telcos? I think the core of telcos, if you think about, is how do they enable so many use cases in the marketplace through the power of connectivity, right? The people look at telcos as connectivity, right? That's where, and now the challenge for telcos, what we see in the marketplace is they don't want to become a plumbing company. They want to be in the end, at the edge of doing these use cases and enabling. And that's where the power of generative AI comes in to figure out how does people think about connectivity and what products and services. So as we always think about it, these technologies cannot be put back in the bottle and like in throttle. They need to be adapted and they need to be applied in the right intention. That's where telcos will also be thinking about doing. And I love the word right intention because see, intention cannot be textbook, uh, yes. you know, philosophized. Intention is something that you need to hone uh, and that's why, you know, company, a company like us, uh, you know, when we dabble with these technologies, we want to make sure that we train this engine mm -hmm. with the right human characteristics. So that's why I think having ethicists who know right from wrong, having anthropologists yes. who understand the evolution of the brain, uh, having philosophers and psychologists, because at the end of the day, you're creating a mind of its own. And this mind needs to have the positive inputs so it can behave like a good corporate citizen. So I think with that, uh, what are your concluding thoughts, Arun? A, generative AI is the term we use now. People have already been using, if you think about telcos, they have already used an engine to make offers to you. Yeah, it's a very basic engine, but it has been told to make decisions. So this is the journey we are in and we are going to continue to do that. And we have to listen to all aspects of it and make sure, like everything, use it for the right purpose. And generally, I also will be one of those things. We should be saying that, okay, we made the right decisions with the right intention and future is going to be fun. Future is going to be fun. And I wanted to assure our listeners and our viewers that uh, this interaction is real. It's not a figment of imagination or some artificial intelligence creating two humanoids uh, trying to talk about generative AI. It might happen sometime in the future, but as of now, um, this is real. And both me and Arun are very excited about this amazing, powerful technology and how Capgemini can help industrialize this in the right way.